Little tech tip here, when replacing a contactor, if you notice this one has screws on the top, lugs on the bottom. I've shown this before, but I'll show it again. There's a little trick, actually. If you have the one with all lugs, if you pull out the lug, there's just a screw holding it in. You pull out the lug, it'll accept that normal screw, and then you don't have to have the OEM contactor. Okay, now not all contactors will do this, but the Mars do, where you can pull that out and put a normal screw. So I'll just take that screw out of that one, put it in that terminal, and then now I have lugs on the bottom, screws on the top, and we're good to go.